Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can checkmate in just 9 moves with the deadly Jesse Pinkman trap. So it comes after you play pawn up to e4 and your opponent plays pawn c5 the Sicilian defense, and here you don't go into some boring mainline blah blah blah, you play pawn to d4, the smith more gambit in black captures, you do not recapture here but you instead play pawn to c3 and black wanting to hang on to their one pawn advantage is going to capture, you now recapture of your knight, and for a few moves here, we just get very typical development. Black plays knight to c6, you now play knight to f3, black goes pawn to d6, and after you play bishop to c4 and black goes knight to f6, you can now spring the trap by playing pawn up to e5. And at first, this might look a little insane because we're already down one pawn and now it looks like we're sacrificing a second one, however, it is not nearly that simple. First off, what is black actually going to do here? They certainly cannot capture with the knight, because now we capture back on e5, black captures, and here we simply win with bishop takes on f7 check, uh, attacking their king with check, and after they capture, now their queen here is simply undefended, and you can capture. So that does not really work for them, uh, and the engine's best choice here is for black to play knight to g4, not very common, but I figured i cover it. Now black is um, putting more pressure on our pawn in center, so we're going to capture on d6, and black recaptures with their queen, and even though this is the engine's top choice, it certainly does not let us have any fun. Here black can already fall for a trap after castles. And this might look really good for them because they think, oh boy, what a good queen trade. But after they play pawn to e6, you can now play a deadly knight to b5 here. Now your knight is getting into c7 with a fork, and they simply cannot do anything about it, and because of that, you are already winning. So, even this variation, black still has to be very, very careful, but now let's go into their most common try, which is to capture back with their pawn. Now here, you don't want to let them capture you, so you're going to capture their queen with check, and they have to make a decision. What piece do they capture back with? Most people often to take back with the knight because they do not want to lose castling rights and I'll get more into this in just a second. However, if they do end up capturing with their king, the reason this does not really work is because of the very nice knight to g5 here attacking f7 with the corresponding fork, and black really does not have a good way to defend it. Their only real try to actually defend is something like king over to e8, but this just does not work at all because now the very nice knight to b5. And they are just getting completely double ham sandwich here, and yeah, they're just completely lost, and you're doing very, very well here. So king takes does not really work very well either. Instead, their best try is to take back with their knight, and now you once again play knight to b5 here, trying to get into c7 with this deadly fork, and what you may notice is that black cannot actually control that at all. All. Their only try here is something like knight to e6 to defend, but you can simply capture if your bishop, they capture back, and now once again knight to c7 check. So back in this position, black's most common move here is king over to d7. Protecting the fork like this, however, this simply does not work at all because knight captures on e5 with a check, their king only has one safe square, back to e8, and now simple knight to c7 is checkmate with a fork as well, and this is a very beautiful double knight checkmate. So because of that, their only really good move here is something like rook over to b8, but now you don't stop with the frets. You now play knight takes on e5, threatening knight to c7 checkmate once again, so black will now try pawn up to e6, making a getaway square for their king, which is their only move to survive here, and after you now play knight to c7 check, king moves up to e7, you can now play bishop to e3 here, once again threatening a checkmate, just checkmate frets everywhere, but after black plays pawn to b6, our steam kind of runs out, and sadly black is not going to be totally lost here, but after long castles, we are still down a pawn, but I think it is safe to say we have more than enough compensation in return, and the only way for black to actually get in an even game here is to find some really hard moves like rook to b7 is what the engine wants here, and most humans are never going to find a move like that. In fact, I'll show one more trap. Black's most common move here is to play bishop to b7 and attack our g2 pawn, but here we are actually winning after bishop to g5. 
And the point here is that we are pinning this knight. And if black just plays pawn to h6 here, then now this is tragic and loses to rook d7 checkmate. Now the knight is pinned here, so it cannot capture the rook. Their king simply has nowhere to go, and in all the chaos, they are dead. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.